Hey guys, we're here with October Top 10 Lifestyle Edition. Let's jump on in. I need to start with a specific item because it's literally going to melt on me if I don't. And that is from Trader Joe's. These are the Hold the Cone little mini ice cream cones. I bought the chocolate and the vanilla chocolate chip. I prefer the chocolate. It is so good. If you give me a tub of ice cream, I will likely finish most of it. And this one, I'm more inclined to just like take one, finish it, and feel satiated. I love that they're coated in chocolate and at the very bottom they have like a chocolate filling there which is the best part but the ice cream quality is actually really good. It's like creamy, it's super yummy delicious chocolate ice cream. Do I eat more than one a day sometimes? Yes but in my mind a mini cone is better than like a tub of ice cream you know probably probably legitimately not just in my mind. Now I have to eat it because the freezer seems really far away. Super impressive. I wonder if they'll come out with a Christmas flavor. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Next are the Trader Joe's garlic and onion pistachios. Oh my god. Nuts are like a go-to snack for me. This genuinely doesn't feel like you're eating nuts. It feels like you're having something way more indulgent. They are so delicious, so flavorful, and also because you actually have to break the shell of the pistachios, I find that I eat less because by the time I'm done breaking a bunch, I like, I'm tired. I just want to move on from the snack and I'm not hungry anymore. They're so good. Last food favorite is also from Trader Joe's. These are the rolled corn tortilla chips, chili and lime flavored. So these are literally look like this. They're rolled tortilla chips. They have this delicious chili lime seasoning they're like a taki but way better in my opinion like they're actually so flavorful like the lime feels fresh to me oh my god they're so addicting i actually really enjoy dipping these in cream cheese i know I know, I don't want to hear the judgment. I understand that it's a weird thing to do. Even if it's not cream cheese, just in my mind, like anything slightly like creamy of a dip. Oh, it's so good. They're amazing on their own, but mm, my mouth is literally watering and it's taking a lot of will... Actually, I'm not opening it. I was going to say it's taking a lot of willpower not to open these. I don't have that much willpower. Listen, on flow, she's coming and my willpower is is going so this is what they look like also for 15 chips it's 150 calories and 0.5 grams of saturated fats which i think is really good it's the satisfaction of having something super savory and delicious but also chips but without being potato chips i bought one bag of these when i tell you it was done in like 24 hours between me and like my family, gone. I went and I bought like five bags, not an exaggeration. I refuse to be without these on a normal day, but especially when it's that time of the month, I refuse to be without these. If Trader Joe's ever stops manufacturing this, I'm gonna be so upset. They do have a little kick to them, but they're not that spicy. I also enjoy spicy food, so maybe it's like according to my spice level. If you can't even handle black pepper, don't have these, but like if you have normal things, even like jalapeno poppers or like whatever, these are delicious. Oh, last one. I'm a huge CBD supporter for um, emotional stability, calmness. If you have issues with anxiety, stress, depression, I find that for me, it is pretty effective in that it helps keep me calm. It helps, especially at night with getting good sleep. I have the CBD without the THC, personal preference, but recently I bought these wild CBD gummies, THC free and it's vegan. I have one of these at night before I go to sleep. I find that they're more effective for me than melatonin as far as getting good sleep but I'm not waking up feeling groggy or tired which a lot of times happens with like a Z-Quil or a melatonin supplement not all melatonin but enough that I prefer this also it's a gummy like it's a delicious little nighttime treat the other CBD item that I absolutely love are the Buddha teas they are CBD blend 90 milligram water soluble CBD teas this tastes really good you can't taste any CBD sometimes like in the gummies there's a little bit of like a slight 
herbaliness or like it almost comes across as a slight bitter herbal taste but none of that in the tea the peppermint one i love and it's also supposed to be really good for digestion but the chamomile one is just great to have at night it's soothing it's calming and it tastes great with honey there's tons of things you can do for stress relief or for calming the mind and cbd is just one that i really like and i've tested out a lot of varieties and right now this is what works really well for me another thing i've been doing a lot this this month to help kind of ease the mind is journaling. I have tons of different notebooks like for YouTube, for work. I love writing things down on paper and journaling is something that I've recently gotten into. I kind of use it as like a brain dump and then I don't actually look back on it. I just have it down on paper. I almost think of it, if you're a Harry Potter fan, like I always used to say pensive, but then in one of the movies they said like pensive and I don't know how to say it, but it's when they take the wand and they like remove the memory and put it into the bowl and then you can dive in at will and relive the memory. Kind of what I think journaling is. So I take it out, I put it there, and only if I choose to do I need to go back. But if not, it really does feel like my whole brain has just kind of melted onto the page. I can close the book and now I've closed it out of my mind a little bit. It is a relief. Um, I've also been working on flipping your mindset where if you're thinking negative, you bounce yourself up to the positive. It's a lot of very exhausting work and I don't do it successfully every single day throughout the day but even one thought is a win as far as I'm concerned I'm focusing on trying to be kind to myself and the journaling really helps I know it's a tough time for everyone and no matter what you're going through whether COVID or not you know people go through stuff so if you're thinking about it buy a pretty journal buy something that means something or makes you feel kind of calm and just write everything down. I recommend just giving it a shot. This candle is from Target. It's the Eucalyptus and Palm Crackling Wood Wick Candle from Threshold. It's literally wooden wick. So where you burn it, it's a piece of wood and it makes this cool crackling sound. I'm not gonna lie, initially when I first started using wood wick candles, the sound freaked me out because I kept forgetting what it was. But now I really enjoy it because it reminds me of a softer version of a fireplace, like the actual burning and crackling of wood. I love using this candle when I shower. I will turn off all the bathroom lights and just burn like this candle with a couple others and use that as my light. I was inspired actually by Jacqueline Hill because she talked about the importance of of lighting in your space and how it affects your mentality. And at night when I shower before getting into bed, it kind of helps calm my mind and get me ready to get a good night of sleep. Try it out. I feel like it really does help. I love anything and everything eucalyptus. It's very calming to me. I also like it because the smell is not overpowering the way some of the Bath and Body Works candles are. So I don't get like a headache or anything from them, which don't get me wrong. I love my Bath and Body Works candles, but some of them if you burn them for a while can be a little too intense and it's also a soy blend candle which I prefer like soy or coconut wax very ironically one of the things that I've been very into this month for audible um, which is a real contrast to the whole calm candle soothing vibe is uh, serial killer and thriller books there's something about me um, and please no one get offended with what I'm about to say, but when I am going through it, when I am feeling a lot of emotions and uh, just having a tough time about things, I don't want to listen or watch fun, sweet, rom-com, romantic. No, I don't want to hear about romance. I don't want to hear about uh, people falling in love, happily ever afters. No, that does not bring me peace. I love those books. I love that genre, but that's just not what I want when I'm really going through it emotionally. I sound like a crazy person, but let me know in the comments down below if somebody else feels like this because I feel like it's a normal thing. And don't get me wrong, like I support other people's happiness in like real life, but in Audible or the TV I watch, like no. If I'm going through it, if I'm having a hard time, if my heart is hurting, I wanna hear about murder cases, police investigations, and give me the nitty gritty gory details of it all. 
that's me. So right now I'm going between two different books. One of them is If You Tell and the other one is I'll Be Gone in the Dark. Both of them are actually like true crime books and I'm kind of halfway between the both of them. If You Tell is like a family secret kind of story and I'm not far enough to actually know like how this is gonna pan out. I'll Be Gone in the Dark is very interesting but also very creepy because it's based off of the Golden State Killer in California and the author Michelle McNamara actually actually is a phenomenal true crime writer and like does so much research like she could be a legitimate police detective she had her own blog at one point and it's just written so well unfortunately she actually passed away before the book was finished but the whole book is created around police documentation the research she did her own personal life it's fascinating but also terrifying because she has really gotten into some of the details and knowing that it's a true story definitely makes it a lot creepier. I listen to mostly fiction serial killer stuff, but I was going through it apparently. So I really went into it. I'll Be Gone in the Dark is actually also an HBO series. So I thought that I would listen to it and then watch the show. That's what's been going on over here. Clearly, it's been a rough month, okay? And uh, this is how we're coping. CBD, good food, and serial killers. <laughs> this item is a favorite for a couple of reasons. This is the Nike Air Zoom Spirit on Cage 2 in light smoke gray slash metallic silver. I have been searching for a good pair of Spirit on Cages for a very long time. The ones that really caught my eye are like the nude ones, but they're so expensive on StockX, I'm not, I refuse, I'm not gonna do it. So one of the reasons that I'm talking about this is because I finally have a pair. The second reason is because I didn't even buy this pair for myself. My friend sent this to me as like a gift to make me smile <laughs> because October was rough, okay? But I just, she literally, I opened a box and I was like, I placed a lot of orders, but this was not an order that I placed. And it just had this really cute note and it was just so sweet. I had to mention it because not only is it an amazing sneaker, but like the emotion behind it really was a favorite thing of mine this month. And going forward, I will always remember that with these shoes, which I love. These are pretty cool. They look really, really good with clean, simple outfits. You can wear them with jeans and they have kind of that 90s dad sneaker kind of a vibe. They also look really, really good with sweatpants, sweat shorts, joggers. Like I'm waiting to wear these with a pair of white joggers. I think they would look sick. And I also love how tapered and oval almost the toe is. And it's just really flattering on the foot. I love all sneakers. I have very big feet. I'm a woman's 11 in sneakers or like a Nike men's nine and a half, which is fine because I wear a lot of men's sneakers. Also so light and comfortable to wear. And I love the pink accents. I think they're so nice. I definitely want to check out more of the Spirit on Cages. I love, I love the meaning behind them more than anything else. Like that emotion is what matters most to me, but they're also a really sick sneaker. I have a couple jewelry pieces to close out the video. The first one being from a brand called Amy Shahab and it is this necklace here. It is an Arabic word necklace. I love Arabic, Arabic words, Arabic, the way it sounds. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful language to me. And for the longest time, actually like years now, I've been wanting my name in Arabic, but then I saw this and I was like, this is amazing because this actually says some which in Urdu means patience. And uh, if there's something that I need to be consistently reminded of, it is to have patience in so many different ways. So I felt like this was a really appropriate necklace. I think it's stunning. It has white CZ stones going through it, but it's done so well where it doesn't look gaudy or cheap or flashy. It has a beautiful weight to it. The chain that it's on is really thin and dainty and it layers so well with other jewelry, but it just adds this really cool, but beautiful classic almost pop to anything that I layer with it. My other favorite is this necklace right here. It's actually two separate items. There is the pendant and the necklace. They're both from Miranda Fry. The pendant is a gothic number eight. I love gemology, numerology, astrology, all of those things. And eight numerically along with six and seven 
are my like three favorite numbers. Eight stands for like balance. It is technically sideways also like an infinity sign, which balance, patience, like those are all the things I'm trying to manifest and like bring to myself. It also stands according to different sources for like creation, new beginnings, enduring, karma, because of the infinity sign, what goes around comes around. Um, ambition, it's the perfect size to layer with other things. It has a little CZ stud right there. It's cool, it's a little edgy, and it looks really pretty at the same time. And actually, before I close this video out, I just wanna show you guys my t-shirt. It's from Target. It's not a favorite for this month, but like it's really cool, but it's actually Kermit, and Kermit is making <laughs> the face that literally defines 2020, but also like every year going back to like 2013 for me. <laughs> I just thought it was a really like appropriate thing. And oh, you can actually see the necklaces a little bit too. There's the Amy Shahab necklace and there's the Miranda Fry necklace. Leave a comment down below for me and let me know what you've been loving this month or for the fall season. I would love to have more goodies to try out from you guys as always. But until my next video, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you soon. Bye.